contact with this ministry in 2019. At the time, uh, I was seven months pregnant and um, I was having a lot of uh, nightmares and attacks uh, during the pregnancy. And that's what prompted me to go for deliverance. And um, when I met the man of God, uh, he told me that uh, I was seven months pregnant. I had not told him. I had just walked into the room and he said, congratulations, you're seven months pregnant. And then he asked me, how, how far along are you? And I said, seven. And uh, he told me the child is in breach, which was correct because that week I had gone for an ultrasound and the child was in breach. And he, had, he told me the Lord um, has asked me to turn in the child. So he asked me to stand up and take a few steps back. And I stood up and took a few steps. And um, he turned his hand like he's driving, uh, the, turning the wheel of a car. And literally my child physically started turning. And as soon as the head faced down, it's almost like I felt like a block. And it was so much power that just like ran through me and I felt. Um, fast forward, he also told me um, how I was going to deliver the child. And exactly how he had said is what happened. And it was funny because when I went to the hospital um, for the induction, you know, I thought, you know, it's just going to supposed to afford. But they, at some point, they gave me medications that triggered the uh, child into, into distress. And I was almost losing the child. The heart rate dropped from 115 to 60. And they called uh, overhead in the hospital for an emergency CS. And I just remember his voice saying, you cannot go for CS. Um, and I started pleading um, and calling for mercy. And things turned around and I was able to deliver safely. Another prophecy that um, he told me, and this is the one that has manifested uh, this year, this past May. Um, we had parted with the child's further and um, Back in 2019, when Makanis was prophesying, he had said um, that my child is going to bring his family together. And at the time, it was not relevant because I thought, how is this child going to bring the man and his family together? They're already together right now. So how, that, how, how will that work exactly? And so I've always kept thinking, um, you know, based off of the previous occurrences, I realized that every word that comes from the man of God actually has meaning manifested in my life while he was prophesying, what he caused him to pass. So this year, um, Memorial Weekend, um, I just had um, my little one, she was three weeks old, uh, and uh, they were having an event, and I, I took the, um, my older one to go on the bouncy castle. We had a cookout and swimming and things like that. And that one minute as a parent that you look down you know, when a baby's crying, the older one took that opportunity to bolt and she blended with the crowd because it was a you know it was an audience. You know, there was a lot of movement and cars parking and things like that. She took off, she tried to go swimming, realized that she can't because the door needs a fog to enter. And she kept walking, and there's a slope in my community, and further down the slope, there's a pond. And my daughter went and drowned. She thought she could swim. The two, you know, the two swimming lessons, she thinks she can swim. So she drowned. And um, the police responded, the EMS responded, the fire department responded, we rushed her to, to the hospital. It was a life and because when we were doing CPR, she was not coughing. She was frothing. She was, she was a goner. Once she got to the hospital, they put her on life support immediately. And they did extensive testing. And um, that was very tough, having a newborn and her in the hospital. And I had not spoken to the child's father for months. But I said, you know, this is this is something very crucial. I think, you know, somebody would want to know. 
So I called, and he came. <coughs> and he was, you know, he came and uh, participated in everything. But it was funny because his own mother that he had not talked to and had alienated him. Um, he had alienated her. She flew in that same week, and he did not know she was coming. And while he was at the bedside, and his mother walked in, and his family back home was calling and checking on Glory and saying, you know, she's going to live. God is going to preserve her. That moment when the mother walked into that room and asked him, how are you doing? And stayed through the whole event. It was at that time that I realized what the man of God had prophesied. Because that whole, it's God turns even the worst of moments for his glory. That child, can you believe within five? Right there. Shouting the loudest, screaming the loud. That's her. Drowning. Thank <laughs> you. 